All right, I'm Ben Palumbo, and this is basically my first video. I decided to do an unboxing on a uh, one-wheel skateboard I got called the Trotter. Uh, it's a Chinese version of the one-wheel. Uh, I went with this product. I really wanted a one-wheel or one-wheel plus, actually, but uh, the price was just too steep, um, especially being as I've never ridden one, so I don't know if I'd even like it or not. So I decided to go with the Chinese version. Um, if I do like it, I'll probably end up upgrading uh, to a One Wheel Plus. Uh, but I figured since there's so little out there on this, uh, I'd go ahead and, and review it for you, or at least unbox it for you and let you know what I think. Okay, so I ordered this from beepboop.net, beep-boop.net, I know that's a weird name. Uh, but they had good reviews and fairly quick shipping, so uh, I went ahead and ordered it from there. It came FedEx. Uh, it shipped last Monday and it, it arrived today so uh, it was exactly a week uh, which I think is pretty reasonable now the batteries uh, come separately uh, because the export uh, deals from China is a little more strict with batteries uh, however uh, I got an email as soon as I ordered this and they explained all that to me which I really appreciate so I wasn't upset when I actually got this. Uh, so today I have the board and probably in the next three to four days uh, we'll receive the batteries for it and get to enjoy it. Okay so it arrived in a cardboard box by FedEx. It's a fairly heavy box. The shipping label says that it weighs 15 kilograms which is what I thought it would weigh with the batteries. So uh, we'll just see how much it actually weighs. So it comes in a box like that. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull this box out and we'll get to opening it too. Okay, so I found because of its size and its weight, I found the easiest way to get out of the box was just to cut the front side off and just slide it out. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> It's almost identical to the, the one wheel regular. Um, one of the things I liked about this is that I could order my own color. And in my case, I ordered the red foot pads, black anodized aluminum, which I think is a great combo, and a treaded tire, which is something one wheel doesn't offer. And I wish they would. Uh, because where I live it rains a lot and slicks are great for traction unless it's wet and in my case it's wet a lot as you can see we're in the middle of Hurricane Harvey or Tropical Storm Harvey now and you can see the bayou in front of my house is flooded I don't know if you can tell that or not but it's extremely flooded Okay, as you can see, I've taken this upstairs. Uh, light's not great here either, but it was really poor downstairs in the barn. Um, I, I wish I could give you a better quality video. I cannot find my tripod for the life of me. Um, but as soon as I find it, I'll produce a more stable video for you. So, here we are. We're gonna open this up here, maybe. <laughs> I could use two hands for this. Okay. All right. So this is what it. Not sure as hell. Oh, it's a charger. I'm sticking out with the battery. I was getting all excited. Okay. So I'm gonna put this down here. Open this for you. This is the charger. It doesn't have the quick charging like the one wheel does. Uh, it's a two to three hour charge, but for me I think that's fine. I'm not going to be, I don't live in New York City or anything. I'm just going to be riding this in the park and stuff and probably driving it back. And here's the extension part of it. And I've always wondered, since you have to buy the ultra charger for one wheel, 
I was wondering if I could get a higher power charger if it would just charge us faster. I don't know if I don't want to mess up the batteries, but yeah. Interesting thought. Okay. So here it is. Has an English <laughs> an English uh, instruction book, which is great. Some of these Chinese things, man, you just you just can't read anything and their English looks like it was translated by a computer. Alright. So it goes through, this is what it looks like, which many of you probably already know. And it just goes through all this. I'll probably read this in a second. Uh, it says the maximum speed is 20 kilometers per hour. I think that's about 12, 13 miles per hour, which is a good click if you're on a uh, portable scooter deal like this. Uh, it's pretty quick. So let me open the styrofoam and see what we got. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. This is a sweet looking device here. Let me stand back so you can really see it. Comes in a cellophane pack. Uh, it's just like I ordered it. Treaded tire, which I really like, and it feels like a pretty, feels like a sturdy tire. Decent amount of air. Probably need to let a little bit out just for cushioning. Uh, it's got the sensor boards on both sides, uh, so you have to have both feet on there, which makes it a little trickier to get on from what I understand. But, I mean, if you have any kind of coordination, you can figure it out, but you can feel it push down. It feels very comfortable. It's not hard wood and sandpaper like the one wheel, so it seems like there'll be a little give. So I'm going to pull this out now and uh, look at it a little bit closer. Okay, so this is a, a pretty heavy piece of equipment, uh, but I guess that's a good thing. It means it's, it's solid and it's sturdy. Uh, this is what's left of the box that it's in. There are no batteries, so it'll be a few days before I get to actually ride this, which of course I'm going to review that too. So let's get it out of the wrapper here. Alright. It seemed like a pretty quality piece of equipment, which you don't see much from China. No offense, Chinese people, but I uh, bought a lot of cheap crap from China that didn't work. Um, but this feels strong. This is actually, it's black. Most of them are brushed silver. Uh, it's, a, it's aluminum, um, which I don't know why it's so damn heavy. I think the motor is probably heavier than the one wheels motor uh, because uh, the rest of the board should be lighter. Uh, I think the aluminum would be a little bit uh, lighter than the steel used. I think it's steel on the one wheel. Uh, you have the motor hub right here. Uh, here's your uh, filler valve. It's pretty easy to access. That's nice. I've heard there's problems with the regular one wheel, but they improved that on the one wheel plus. And I know I keep comparing it to that, but that's what I was looking at was the comparison between these two. All the other ones that I looked at online looked like they were, I don't know, kind of cheap and not as powerful. So here's the other side of it. This is all nice aluminum. This tire, I don't know what brand it is, but uh, it's a Trotter tire, so I guess they make their own tires or they had it made for them. But it's pretty solid feeling. I like that it's a treaded tire. Um, I really like that because uh, it's still, you know, relatively slick, but um, so it'll still give you good grip. But it'll give you some all-weather grip. And here are the center pads on both sides. And as you can see, the it's easier to tell on the brushed aluminum, but. Uh, here it is on the black. Let me see if I can get that in focus again. Yeah. As you can see, these welds look really nice. Um, and they look nice in other videos that I looked at, which just tells me that it's built with more quality. Um, definitely don't want those given out. There's a minimal amount of space between the wheel and the... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. 
in the frame, but uh, I think that would be enough for most small rocks. I know that was a complaint with some of the one wheel people. Yes, I've watched a lot of one wheel videos, that's why I'm <laughs> referring to it a lot. So, uh, here is the LED set, and this is, uh, I believe this is the front. I'll read the manual and let you know. But here's the power button, and well, there's no battery, but that's where you power it. This is the uh, this is the plug, and the, just uh, these also. It's white in the front, red in the back, uh, and then it reverses when you switch it up. Oh wow! Looks like. I'm not sure what this is. I thought that was a power button. That's not. Um, this is actually the power button. And it's not powering because there's no battery. This thing's probably pretty heavy when you put a battery pack in it. Um, but again, it's, you know, this is silicone. This is, I don't know, probably ABS plastic. It's pretty sturdy feeling. Uh, the frame itself is anodized aluminum. I went with the black because I just love red and black together. And if you turn it over, you'll see there's more aluminum here. Plates, you see the rivets here, the, the screws there, whatever they're called. <clears throat> and I have built-in bumpers now. And the one where you can get replacement bumpers, they're probably a little better because it looks like you're going to be scratching the main frame with this thing. So that's something I really don't like. I uh, would like to have replaceable rubber bumpers here because uh, I'm sure it takes some wear and tear on that part. Um, but they're not there, so I'm not going to worry about it. I guess I could always put a piece of rubber stripping, uh, weather stripping right here to at least uh, or, or Velcro some rubber pads on one. Uh, it would be pretty cheap and easy to do. Nobody would really see it. It would save the board. So I may actually end up doing that. I did pay a pretty good penny for this. Uh, I got a good price on it. I think you know, it was 720 bucks with free shipping, uh, which is a half the price of the One Wheel Plus, which is really the big factor in me getting it. If it was a couple, two, three hundred dollars difference, I would have gone with the American version because I like to buy American and because I think it's probably a better... You know, especially the one with Plus, it, it's a better product. But I figured this one was um, pretty much comparable to the one wheel, the regular one. And, you know, it's like half the price, so why not? And it seems like it's just a sturdier quality. Um, now you have the, the battery and the controller under these aluminum plates. Of course, you access them from the top by removing these screws looks like I'm missing some screws oh there's more screws in the pack that's what those screws are for they just put a minimum amount of screws because I'm gonna have to undo this to put the battery on there so there are screws included for the holes that are missing screws uh, so that's good um, and so the battery pack is probably under this one because this is the one missing screws which means the controller would be on that one um, I've seen a video where somebody disassembled one of these and it looked like some really high quality parts I mean the the battery case is double walled uh, I believe it's I believe it's watertight um, so it, it really looked like it was quality built that's why I was like well half the money it's pretty much the same it's also well built let me get it and try it so you take these plates off and then there's another plate underneath and you pull that off put the battery plug it in piece of cake uh, put the plate on, put the silicone, put the plastic cover on, and you're ready to go. Um, so this is it as far as the unboxing is concerned. Um, I think it's a nice looking, let me get back for you, sorry. Let me get back for you. Have a look at this thing. It's nice looking. really like the treads, man. That was a really big selling point. I'm surprised One Wheel doesn't offer a treaded option. This is made to my specifications. It can have any color. 
and every tire. So I dig that, man. I'm all about customization. Why not? This is what it looks like. You see, the, it looks like a quality piece of aluminum plating right there. And, and from the top, you know, this is what it's going to look like for me. Yeah. So the difference in, in getting on it, from what I understand, is that as soon as you put your foot down, this thing wants to go, except it's going backwards because the foot's down backwards. So as soon as you get on it, it's going to go backward a little bit. So you really have to have to lean forward as soon as you you get on it. Uh, now this one's not powered, so I can't show you that, but I will show you that once I get the battery. All right, guys. Uh, just wait a couple more days, put this baby up, and uh, when it comes in, I'll show you some more. Thanks.